647 is our time. Time to check back in with Lou Norman at Enormous Mobile Specialty. He has some tech talk today. Yep, talking about some helpful tips. Uh, good morning to you, Lou. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Tom. One of the most concerning things that our industry has learned that's in the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, that's the 2,700 page bill that our government passed back in August. Well, it's a measure mandating a vehicle backdoor kill switch in every vehicle by 2026. Let me explain. This clause is intended to increase vehicle safety by passively monitoring the driver of a motor vehicle to accurately identify whether that driver may be impaired or not. So that's a little concerning. Um, let's, let's get in a little bit more detail here. By 2026, vehicles sold in the U.S. will be required to automatically and silently record various metrics of driver performance, which includes listening to you in your car, tracking your eyes, and then making a decision um, whether or not you will be allowed to continue to use your own vehicle. Hmm. Even worse, the measure goes on to require that the system be open to remote access by authorized third-party entities. Huh. The passage of this bill was unearthed by former Georgia Representative Bob Barr and more pressing than these privacy concerns are the safety issues, including an automatic kill switch with internet access, which could create a new pathway for bad actors. Uh, we already know hackers already can access your vehicle and the vehicle's computer. This new kill switch system presents the obvious scenario that a malicious agent could disable your vehicle remotely with no warning. Even if the remote access part of this mandate doesn't come to pass, this is still astonishingly short-sighted. For example, would police need a warrant to access your recorded data? Would it be available to insurance companies or medical professionals? What if you are late on your car payment? Does the lender have the ability or will they be allowed to remotely disable your vehicle? Certainly beyond these concerns of who would be allowed official access, there's once again that ever-present fear of hackers gaining access to your vehicle, which we all know it's going to happen sooner or later. Something to consider, the Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution to protect citizens from unreasonable search and seizure. It assumes people enjoy a right to privacy in certain places, and I would assume that includes your car. The information I just gave you is from Lauren Fix, the car coach. More information about what I just talked about is available at laurenfix.com. And for more information about what our electronics shop does for your vehicle, check out our website, enormous.net. That's E-N-O-R-M-I-S.net. Click the Contact Us button, send us a message. We'll see what we can do for you. Dave and Tom, back to you in the studio. Uh, Lou Norman reporting. Thank, okay, you, thank Lou. you, Lou. Very much.